Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, as requested, I will be showing you how to install GMIC for GIMP 2.10. To start off with, all you need to do is head on over to the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you now need to click on download and you now need to click on this installer bit here under GIMP 2.10 and you need to go save file. Once the file has finished downloading, we now need to run this setup file and click run and you now need to go OK and you need to go next, I accept, next, next again, and we now need to go install. Once it has finished installing, we can now go finish and we can open up GIMP. Once GIMP 2.10 is open and you have opened up a image, we can now go up to the top and click on filters and we can now click on GMIC. And you will now have a preview on the left hand side and on the right hand side here we have a list of filters. As you can see there are hundreds of filters here. If I just click onto colours and click onto colour temperature you will see that the preview image has changed a little bit. It didn't actually change a lot on there but we do have some options on the right hand side here which we can turn up and adjust. And there we go, that looks nice. We could also go to black and white and there's a load more filters in here which we can adjust our image. That actually looks pretty cool there on charcoal. Let's close that down and close down colours and let's have a little look in frames. If we go into frames, we can choose a few options in here. Let's just go with that one there. That looks cool. We have a cube frame and let's go on to repair and just see what's in here quickly. As you can see, there's a few more filters here. This really is a fantastic add-on for GIMP 2.10 and I do highly recommend you give it a try. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.